Hey Aquarius, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do your July 2019 reading. Okay, I think you're gonna find that this reading is a little bit, a little bit more in depth, a um, little deeper. All right, so I'm adding a chakra card for how the two of you are connecting. Okay, and I'm just I'm going a little deeper with clarifications for you for the month. So sit back and enjoy. Uh, you might hear some ocean music in the in the background. It's not really music. It's just ocean sounds. Um, normally, I only play that at night for the dogs because it helps calm them and you know helps them to sleep. And so I figured I would turn it on <laughs> during the readings so we can have a nice quiet reading. <laughs> and so far, so good. It's working. All right, let's see what's going on for Aquarius for July of 2019. First card out, we have rest and reconsider. This is the nine of wands. That's for you or for the person that you're watching the video for. And then we have Blossom. This is the Judgment card. Okay. Let's get a Chakra card to see what Chakra the two of you are connecting on right now. Heart Chakra. Two other signs got this, Capricorn and somebody else, I can't think of it. Um, but this means that you're coming from a place of I love. Okay, that's significant. Somebody is resting and reconsidering because they love. Somebody is blossoming or this is reconciliation rebirth okay coming together because they love that's that's the place where we're coming from aquarius so we have the the night sun tarot that i'm using another deck by lo scarabio that i loved I love the artwork that he does in, in all of his decks. Or she, but I feel like it's a he. <laughs> I think I've said that a bunch of times. All right, let's lay out the cards, see what's going on. Coming from a place of love. I love it. Okay. First card out we have Seven of Wands. And for this person down here, we have Two of Cups. All right, so right off the bat, I'm just going to tell you that the two of you are not on the same page. You're not. <laughs> All right? Because, you know, I feel like this person has taken a step back and has a defensive energy. We're gonna find out why we have a defensive energy here. This person, this person see thing, sees things very differently, okay? This person is feeling reconciliation and coming together in love. Two of Cups. They see, they see the two of you being on the same page. This person, I feel angst around love, 
this person I feel is looking forward because of love. Lots of fire energy in these readings this this month. Five of Wands. Look at this is complete chaos here. Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands, Five of Wands. And because it's going in reverse order, I feel like it's something that this person is thinking about. Meaning, so this person feels like there was turmoil, maybe an argument, maybe a miscommunication of some sort that they are defensive about. Okay, they feel like they have to defend their, their stance. And now they're in a place of just stepping back. You have Eight of Pentacles here. So obviously this is the card of, um, you know, putting in the work, but it can also be a card of, you know, seeing all these pentacles. It's like you're, re you're reviewing all of these pentacles. It could, and all of these pentacles can be different conversations, different situations with this person, different moments with this person. It, it, you know, I feel like You know, I feel like you're looking at those right now because you have some awareness that this person is in this energy, but I don't know that they're really showing it to you. But they're in this energy because of love. They have a lot of chaos and defensiveness around them because of love for you. Okay, so let's be clear. We have the justice card. Something is out of balance or something is coming into balance. And then we have the four of pentacles. So you're holding back you're holding, you're holding back your cup of love. You're holding back on this reconciliation, even though it's the energy that you, you see this connection coming in or coming to. Justice, this person feels that this connection is is out of whack, out of balance right now. It needs to be balanced. What about this connection needs to be balanced in this person's opinion? Look at, we have, okay, so we have temperance and we have another card that's stuck to it. Strength. So there's a, you know, I feel like temperance is about peace, finding peace. So this person feels like there's a lack of peace for them, but also for the connection. And it's because somebody is exerting somebody, it feels to this person that this person has you know, is driving the train, is in control. And yet you, I feel like this is you. Um, you may not know that you have this energy. This is very, very similar to the Capricorn reading, okay? It, it really is. Um, but it makes sense. You're holding, you're holding the cups you're holding whether 
the reconciliation happens, whether you realize it or not, you're reviewing situations, moments, um, meetings, or, you know, you're reviewing all of the times that you have spent with this person, but, you know, you're not talking about it, and you're, you're holding back. You're holding back from this person, holding out on this person. Strength, this person doesn't feel like they have the power or the, the strength to be able to move forward, to be able to move forward. Because all of this energy, this Five of Wands, Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands, has been very chaotic for them. There might have been a, an argument about a work situation or a disagreement about a work situation to take it a little further here. I'm going to clarify these two cards together. Ten of Wands. This is where the burden is for this person, okay? Whatever strife or whatever argument or whatever disagreement or whatever is causing this person to feel defensive and to be in this rest and reconsider state happened here. So I feel like this happened a while ago. This person may feel like you're holding, you know, you're holding all of the, the cups, the pentacles, whether or not you come back to each other, it's like, it's your choice. It's your choice. And it feels disempowering to this person. They feel like they don't have a lot of choice here. I want to see what their, um, I want to clarify that Nine of Wands. The world. This is about the success or this is about the success of this connection. This is about their level of satisfaction with this connection. Okay, and this could be you too. You can flip it. It's a general reading, all right? So um, if you feel like somebody else holds all the power, then maybe this is you. But I'm telling you... <laughs> You might be surprised that you actually are holding the reins in this connection. I do feel like this is you. So you might want to take a step back and think about that. What is this person being defensive about? Wow. Ten of Swords. They feel betrayed about something. They feel betrayed. I feel like that you're holding back your, your cup. This is a, this is, this is massive frustration here. Massive frustration. And it's about love. You may perceive, and here's, here's something, you may perceive literally that this is what they're doing to you and this is you, but it literally can be flipped. It literally could be flipped is what I'm hearing. 
Let's see the advice for this connection. Look at that, balance. I mean, I can't make this stuff up. <laughs> All right, this is the, the temperance card again. So you might be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? Um, a Leo or a Libra. You both, you know, I feel like you both perceive this as being out of balance, but one of you feels like, one of you may feel like you have all of the control and one of you may feel like you have no control at all. And not that it should be about control, but you know, in terms of what this reading is telling me, it, it has a lot to do with that. There needs to be balance here. There needs to There needs to be balance. I'm leaving it at that. Stay optimistic about your love life is what romance angels are saying for this person up here. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. This person needs to have some faith. Down here, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. If this is your soulmate, you know, this could be illustrating, honestly, a, a new separation between two people. Or it could be illustrating a separation that's been going on for, for who knows how long. Weeks, months, years. Oh, oh my goodness. But the love is here. The love is there. Why is love so hard sometimes? <laughs> All right, Aquarius, that is what I have for you. Very, very similar. If you're connecting with a Capricorn, you should definitely check out the Capricorn reading. <laughs> it's like a mirror image of this. All right. That's what I have for you. Have a lovely July. Have a happy 4th of July. And I'll talk to you next week. All right. Bye-bye.